All right, guys, welcome back for another one. Here we go, it's just me and Reese. It's only about quarter to seven in the morning. We're coming out to catch some squid. Hopefully, Tilly and Reese and maybe Shay, if we're lucky, are going to come down when they wake up. It's freezing down here this morning. It was only eight degrees this morning. It's a cold morning, so they're all snuggling up in bed with the heater. Me and Reese are down here to catch the squid. This morning, I'm going to keep Reese's bum on the squid. I'll let him beat me last time. I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> He's trying to beat me. Anyway, he beat me just before I'm a snapper. So we'll see how we go. Alright, let's get in the squid, eh? The water's very clear, which is perfect for squid. Squid are, as I said before, their eye, they're vision hunters. That's it. They don't smell, they don't feel. It's all vision hunting with them. Big eyes. They sit on the kelp. And they just look for something to eat. Yep. Yep. Reese has got a good one here. That's a big one, dude. Yeah, Yeah. He's the biggest one we've caught yet. He's a cracker. Yeah, but he hasn't inked yet. Jeez! Have a go at that. That's a cracker. Be careful. Oof. Well, I'm not off to a good start here kicking Reese's But He already started off kicking mine. We'll have a go at this. He's done well. He's got a massive squid here. Probably the, he'd be the biggest we've caught yet. Nice big squid, big head on him. As I was talking before about them being vision hunters, you can see they've just got these massive eyes on them. Just purely designed hunting machines. Like they're purely vision predators. As I said in the last episode, just push behind here. We'll give him a squeeze. Dead instantly. Change his color. And he's dead. We'll put him on ice. I was saying about squid being vision hunters, you also want the right bottom. So we were, we moved before between the squid, just the first couple and those couple, to another spot. We moved in a bit close, it was real dirty looking, couldn't see the bottom, didn't get enough and so I said let's move back out. It's come up a bit shallow, they like it flat with sand and kelp in between and they sit on the kelp patches in between all the sand and stuff and they hunt as the little bait fish come across the sand, they're on the kelp, they eat them. So you want a nice clear water on it, better just see those kelpie patches under you. And that's the best way, because then the squid can really see it fluttering down. And I've got one now as I'm talking to you. Oh, this is a good one too. Oh, no. I dropped him. That was a good one. I got one. Oh, another one? What is this? I just lost that one. As I was talking to you, literally cast it back out. This is the very next cast. And it's just on. It doesn't feel massive like the last one. Right, another squid. If they're not very big, we're gonna let them go. We only want some real some decent sized ones for a feed. He might be alright. How's he look? Mm. Oh yeah, he's a nice squid. Yeah, it's three two now. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're lucky that was an ink. <laughs> Reese has got his new pen shirt on, lucky it was an ink. He's a nice one. Geez, it must have been a big one, the one I lost before. Because the one before was really pulling. Pulling that hard and pulled off. They're just such a pretty thing, aren't they? Big eyes on them. All their spots. Reese behind there. He's dead. Reese is on the kelp. He thinks he's on the No, 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 no. Oh, no. No, wow. Wow. Reese is. Wow. I was wow. having a go at Reese saying he's got kelp. Wow. He has a big squid here, people. 
That's a big squid race. He's a monster. Oh. Reese's got a big squid, he reckons. Don't smash the boat. He's calling a monster squid. Where is it? Like right here? Yeah, squeeze hard there at the pressure point. You'll see him change. Yeah, there he goes dead. Yeah. Then change colour. Show the camera. Good job. It's just easy. You just pop your squid jig out. Let it sink to the bottom. Give it a bit of a wind on that bottom. Let it sink back. Because the squid are hiding in that kelp. You just want to bring it past. There's really not much to a squid jig. The squid jig does all the work. So when you buy a squid jig, make sure you buy a good quality one. Don't buy the $2 Kmart one. You waste your time. You're putting the time in fish and spend the money. Go and spend 18 20 dollars whatever. Buy a good quality squid jig. They sink flat. They sit better in the water. The cheap ones just sink like a rock. They don't look natural. Nothing's going to eat them. You might get the odd squid, but... You're better off just buying the better squid jig. You don't lose, unless you get snagged in the kelp, like you very rarely lose a squid jig. They don't bust you off. They break their arms before they can break you off. Yeah. Reese's got a good one. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, Reese has got a real good one. This might be another foot one. That first one was crazy. As I say, anyone can catch them. That's why Reese is picking them. That's why Reese is catching them. Oh, yeah. Oh. Look at that, Dad. Yeah, don't let him hammer me, please. <laughs> <laughs> why? You let yours hammer me. Have a go at that. It's another good squid. Oh. If you can net him, please. He's, he's going berserk. All right, there you go. Have a go at him. Another good squid. Young Reese has done well. That's second cast. Get him out. Give us a look at him. That's the next cast after after I um caught that other one. Another nice squid. A little bit smaller than us, but still a good one. Find other side, kill him. First run was always fun. change colour as he dies. Is it? Good night. He's asleep. We're probably in about four metres of water, and you can see the bottom. I don't have any seal on here, but you can see there's just the sand and broken kelp. Wait till that sun breaks right so you've got to see it. There's one there. Just pick one up. Just on the five. Just give that a little hop then. And he won't stop. I don't think he's. Oh, he's getting a bit excited. Hopefully, he's a bigger one. I'm going to make sure you drag very light with these guys. I made the mistake this morning. Oh yeah, he's a nice one. No friend. Didn't have a drag tight enough, so he stripped off. You don't need a strike either because there's no barbs so you need to keep the tension tight at all times because there's no barbs they're just super sharp so when they latch on they pull tight no striking needed just very gentle and this is a pretty big one i think this is good we're after a few for a feed the big ones are good you get your feet quicker, you don't need to kill as many. There he is. Oh, he's a big one, this one. 
Yeah. You got one? Yeah. He's got one. Oh, he's facing my boat. I don't like when they face the boat. Ooh. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> we'll get it next to my one. Don't let it ink my boat. Cracking squid they are. Absolute cracking squid. I got one. I got a good one. I got a real good one. Wow. Wow. Watch your line out of the way. I'm just over here. Find you. This one's huge. We got a big one here. I got a real big one. He actually took it on the fall. I was waiting for it to sink. And it just started going, started peeling out. Picked it over and zzz, zzz, zzz. Hopefully it beats Reese's. Good squid, just gotta go easy on him so I don't pull the hooks out. The trouble with squid, you gotta go easy when you pull the hooks, which I've done a couple of times. Just getting too excited, I get a bit excited. Trying to beat young Reese. There he is, oh, he's on, look at him, he's a big squid. Can you pack the net up? I pack it after I was grab him. Keep him? No, we'll have a look at him. Oh, he's, he's big. Oh. There's another friend there. Oh. He's got a big friend too. There he is, his friend's out the back. That's it. Here he comes, wind, wind it up. I don't know if you can see this on camera, but here you go, Reese has got his squid jig in front of that one now, just hold it still. Yep. Yep, Reese has got it. <laughs> we got them both. Is he as big as mine? I oh, don't know. <laughs> and that's how you get both. Mine's huge. Finish the day, that's gonna finish me. Mine is an absolute tank. Reese got his next to me. How good is that? Love oh, yeah. it. It's good, eh? Anyway, alright, give it yours. Go. What is he doing? Alright. Oh, <laughs> Maybe kill him. Yeah. <laughs> Reese is getting mooked on. <laughs> alright, I'll show you how to clean these squid. Me and Reese will clean them because Reese is really good at cleaning them now. Alright. Oh, nice and sweet. Not little, but yeah. Alright, show us how you clean it. The head and waist, isn't it? That's all the guts, the head, everything in one go. The tube should be clean. The tube clean, there should be no get, no guts in there. We'll give that a wash once we're done. Now show us how we pull the wings and skin off. Um, so pulling the wings out, stick back on the wing. There you go. You pop them out there, you put your thumb under a wing. So he's punched it through there. Yeah. He's got his thumb in there. All right. Now I've got to just pull the wings off. And I'm going to dig my finger up through here. Get that out. Get the skin out. Come on. It can be a bit difficult to
it. What was that you threw away? Wings. And so the skin. Take the rest of the skin off. Then uh Good job, buddy. And that's it, done. Now we'll just finish washing it, give it a good wash, we'll put it in and we'll repeat that process, won't we? Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we are. As you can tell, I'm good at making it stay alive. You're giggling over there. <laughs> Welcome back, we're in the kitchen. And as always, I'm making it stay giggle because I'm doing something silly. Anyway, so it's cooking a squid. We've already cut it up. I'll show you. We've already, okay, you, would, you see me clean them on the beach. We had the tubes. All we've done is just split the tube in half. You do your crisscross and slice them into long strips. Didn't worry about filming it because it's really easy, but we can film it another time. So, and we had to let it soak, so that's why we haven't filmed it yet. It's been in the fridge a couple of hours, hasn't it, Dale? Yeah. What'd you soak it in? Ah, uh, just lemon juice. It makes it tender. Makes it tender. So yeah, we've got that out of the fridge now, and Shay will roll with you. Right. So yeah, this has been soaking in the lemon juice. So it's all night. Otherwise, if you don't soak it, it's really firm. Squid's quite firm, isn't it? Especially the larger squid. Yeah. So, the lemon juice does partly cook it a little bit. Right, so we're going to add some spring onion. I'm going to put some more lemon juice. And then we're just going to season it with some chilli, garlic, ginger and salt. You can put as much chilli as you like, but our kids complain. They whinge. So I just do one. I'd like about four of them. Yeah. Yeah, the chilli's really nice with seafood. Salt. Right, and then we just get our hands in and mix it all up. Putting some oil in the pan. Alright, so we'll start cooking this. Squid doesn't take very long to cook, only a minute or two. So we'll put the lid back on. We'll just give it a stir in between and then it's ready. Give it a little stir right now. Yeah, you just give it a little stir, but you can see as it's cooking, it starts to like curl where you've done your crisscross. Yep. So that's about half done. Our first lot's ready. mark gets to test try it and that's it i'll just keep cooking it like this it's that easy yeah we do, we do do calamari but 
it makes a big mess. <laughs> yeah, I get in trouble. It makes a massive mess in here. We don't have an induction cooker for outside, and we only have a Weber. And then the kids have to wash up and they complain. Yeah, so we've got to cook in here, and there is oil everywhere when I'm cooking. So, lucky me, Shay cooks it fancy for me. We had it like this the other day. We only had it yeah. uh, last week or the week before when I caught a heap of me and Reese caught a heap of squid. In the other episode, we didn't do a cook. This is how Shay cooked it, and it was beautiful. It's delicious. Give it a go. Alright, we've got Reese here. Shay's just cooking it up. She's still cooking it at the moment. Looks good. It smells busting. It smells busting, he says. He snipped it out and come back. There it is. All the crosses. It's very thick. But how is it? Oh, uh, awesome. Not too mm. chilly? No. That's really good. Mm. For such a thick squid, oh, are you... it's still very, very tender. Mm. Reese doesn't make sure. I reckon there's not enough chilli in it, but we have to go limit on the chilli because of this one. Yeah. And he's even whinging about it. <laughs> You'll be right, boys. Suck it up. How is it? Fly here. Still good. It's really good. Mm. It's really juicy. In there, juices. Soaked in there. It's good. I like eating like this. You just get a bowl and just smash into it. We had it the other night. Christmas, didn't it? Yeah, Christmas. We had this and lobster. And it was beautiful. We just got a bowl full and just sat there and I just smashed it. <laughs> we had 19 squids. But these are good. Mm. All right, that's it. Hope you enjoyed that. We're out of here soon. So I'll see you in the next one. And yeah, catch you later. Thanks for watching.